On KMRS KKOK, it's another edition of Let's Talk, and we're here at Echo Water talking about uh, the changeover on the uh, Morris Water Treatment Plant, and Dan Gugersberg joins, joining us once again. Last time around, Dan, we were talking about uh, demonstrations that we did with the hard water, and uh, we had uh, uh, one of your customers coming in here asking questions about it. What do we do now that uh, the change has been done? Well, the water quality is, the, the hardness levels are a lot lower than what they were a week or so ago. Um, so it's crucial that people get their water softeners checked over uh, and reset according to the, to the new water. Um, you're just gonna be wasting a, a lot of salt if, if we don't get those things reset the way they need to be. Uh, some of them are very simple. It's a matter of pushing a couple of buttons and some of them are a little more complicated. Uh, but but we have the we we have the know-how to get them set where they need to be set for you. Well, he's already given me some tips on how to take care of my water uh, softener, and and if I can kind of slip over this direction a little bit, why don't you demonstrate uh, on this? It's not an actual water softener, but it it does have kind of the same idea what you're doing. Yep. So, for instance, on mine, it's pretty simple. Uh, yeah. So with with your model, you you hit the select button uh, two times, and you adjust the hardness up or down with a, just by pushing a, a couple of buttons. Mm -hmm. And they're all gonna vary just a, a little bit. Uh, but again, you can, you can give us a call and we can walk you through it either over the phone uh, if we know the model that you have or, or we've, got, we've got techs running around town getting, getting softeners adjusted according to the new water as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, I would guess that you have a lot of water softeners in town. Uh, we've, we've got a few in town, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so you can look it up and, and tell um, our listeners and viewers uh, exactly what they need to do with, yep. the with the particular model they've got. Yep, absolutely. All right. So the other question I had is uh, about discharge. Uh, are we gonna have to do anything with the discharge? I think mine goes up into a sewer pipe up above. Uh, yeah, they they all go into the into the sewer. Uh, that should be nothing should change with with that side of, side of things. Okay, well we will uh, hopefully if anybody has any questions about anything to do with uh, hard water, uh, the new system that's going in with the Morris treatment plant, they can call Dan Gugersberg and let's get that telephone number out there. It's three two zero five eight nine thirty nine sixty six. Anything else you want to make mention of the as long as we got their ear? Uh, a lot of people have. I already mentioned that they're not a big fan of the way the, the water tastes. Um, we do have filtration options for making the quality of the drinking water much, much better. And we can, we can remove all that chlorine that's in the water. If, if that bothers you, we can, we can get rid of that for you too quite easily. Is it the chlorine that's uh, the main component that's uh, the problem with the taste? Typically, yes. Yeah. All right. 589. 3966. Very good. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Dan Gugusberg here at Echo Water on KMRS, KKOK.com. Let's talk.